The Invisible Man by Ed G. Wells and today we are on chapter number 24 the plan that failed in the previous chapter and the chapters before that we have had uh, a recitation of the past life uh, a very near past of the invisible man by himself and he was narrating the whole story to Kemp and of course the reader gained a lot of knowledge about what happened to him and finally how he became invisible and later discovered the drawbacks of invisibility how he decided to come to a countryside a small village where he could ta uh, do his experiments you know uh, in complete peace where nobody would disturb him unlike a huge teeming city like london so uh, we have had full information and a lot of description about the character of Griffin, the invisible man and here let us see which plan are we talking about the plan that failed and the character list of chapter number 24 is uh, Dr. Kemp, Griffin and Colonel Adye. So we have the character of Colonel Adye for the first time in the novel and as we have discussed before uh, this character of Colonel Adye is basically uh, the uh, not a very important character and yet we would meet him in the coming chapters uh, he is the chief of burdock police and if you remember in a previous chapter uh, dr kemp had written a letter to him and informed him about the presence of the invisible man in his house so this is how uh, we meet colonel Ade for the first time in this chapter so let us begin chapter number 24 Kemp who is who was very interested in knowing the concept of invisibility the scientific knowledge uh, Kemp has gained a lot of information about Griffin Uh, things about his character, his past and uh, how he became invisible and in this process he has also discovered that Griffin has very negative traits as a human being which means that he has discovered how short tempered how inhumane how cruel and what a criminal minded man uh, he could be so he knows his secrets he knows a lot about this man and just like the reader dr kemp also firmly believes that such a man should be arrested he should be behind bars because he could be a, a great danger to the society so uh, his thinking dr kemp's thinking which is also the readers thinking is uh, taking him to the thought that the police should arrive very very quickly now because this man uh, should be behind bars this man should be uh, under the law actually he should be in some kind of prison where he could not be able to do any of the criminal activities which he has indulged in up till now dr kemp is keenly awaiting the arrival of the police he has managed to keep 
uh, the invisible man away from the windows so that he would not be able to see out and he would not suspect that there is something wrong and Dr. Kemp uh, then sees three police people, three policemen walking up the hill road towards his house. Of course, uh, he knew that uh, some policemen would be arriving because uh, this was a very very important matter which he had given information about and he, to Dr. Kemp it appears that they are moving too slow, they should come too quickly because even the police doesn't know what kind of a criminal this invisible man could be. And then uh, in the meantime Griffin is divulging his future plans and these are very important. Dr. Kemp asks him why had he come to Burdock? So this is a question why had he come to Burdock? and the invisible man answers this he says that Burdock is a port port from where a lot of ships travel to different countries uh, from where he had planned to board a ship a steamer whatever to a place like France or Algiers he had thought I would go to a place where uh, where it would be a warmer climate a relatively warmer place and where he could remain invisible and use the money that he had robbed up till now he had planned to use Marvel as a helper and a carrier. He had thought that Marvel would go with me like my helper, my carrier, somebody who would carry my books and obviously his money. But his plans, the plans of the invisible man failed. Now, why did this original plan fail? Of course, you and me, uh, all the readers know. The reader knows that Marvel has escaped. And what has he taken? He has taken the books and the money of the invisible man. So, without the books and the money, the plan cannot be executed of course he would need the money and his books are very important to him because they contain the complete secret the complete scientific knowledge of his invisibility and marvel is now somewhere he doesn't know where he is and he says my plan has completely failed the plan of the invisible man because marvel has escaped and then kemp informs him that this tramp he is talking of Marvel has lodged himself in a very safe prison out of his own request now who had thought Marvel was a foolish man? Marvel appeared to us to be somebody who had no brains at all, but he has turned out to be very sharp. Marvel has now turned out to be very sharp. He has gone to the police and he has, by his own request, lodged himself at the police station. And why in the police station? Because the invisible man would not dare at all to at least come to the police station. And that is the reason. And he is 
safe now and the invisible man would not be able to find him or do any harm to him there so this is what we hear about marvel we only hear about him and we do not meet him for quite some time until the end of the novel and now griffin explains his new plan to kemp again this is very important what was his earlier plan which failed and now it is a new plan which he is explaining to kemp and what is this new plan he says i since i have found you i have decided to establish a reign of terror in this area if you think this is something which is mad if you think this is something which is